I know, strange for these parts. You know what a bear looks like, don't you? Thick coat, big teeth, cute little nose. Right. Well, at this point, you're either being ignorant or willfully obstructed. No! What are you thinking? You started the fight. Now you're losing the fight. I know what you're going to say. Uh, no. Come on. Up. Lace, your turn. Do something. OK, you got a kick. Kick again. Well, that showed them. I like to think I made my point. And what point was that? Three watches in a wallet. It's not often we get customers waiting for us. <laughs> you haven't got that lucky, Mr. Sisselman. I'm not handing myself in. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> How can I help? I'm representing the bear. No. The bear's case is closed. Uh, correction. I am representing myself via the bear. The trouble is you confiscated my property instead of... Now, this is a bill of sale stating that I, not Jorg Bernison, own his armor. Um. Yes, this document is correct. As far as the Crime and Debt is, the Crime and Debt Act is superseded in this circumstance by the Possession of Goods Act. Part three, subsection four, miscellaneous provisions. Longs to... Please, intelligence, Mr. <laughs> it's not your intelligence, I doubt, Mr. Sisselman. Who paid you to write this? <laughs> not even money will work. They've got you well controlled. It's always been a place for people who didn't fit in or didn't want to. He's a bear. He can't be a slave. Not to you, the magisterium, or anyone. Shame on you, Mr. Sisselman. Hey, can you remind me why we're here again? It's the only place in town with a bed and a halfway decent plate of scram. It worries me that bacon is more important to you than survival. And by the way, you are aware everyone is looking at us. It's time to leave. Yeah, we're not leaving without Yorick. Thank you. Thank you. I know you stole from them, Lee. Every minute we spend here, longer than we should. Bear saved my life, Hester. And we came here to repay him, and he told us he didn't need our help. We didn't need your help. You know, kid, much as I like you, now is not the time. I represent John Fall, ruler of the Western Egyptians, and we would like to hire you. You can't afford me. Mr. Scoresby, the Magisterium is stealing children. We have to get them back. And it occurred to us that the help of an aeronaut might be of some use. We'd be grateful for your services. You're paying gold. I know what you're fighting, kid. You're gonna lose. Do you play cards? <laughs> what do you know about cards? I used to play them with the scholars where I lived. They were much cleverer than me, but I generally won. I learned that sometimes a bad hand can be your greatest weapon. Sometimes when there is no hope, and allow you to bluff magnificently. Remind me never to play cards with you. We need you. And the bear. You need the bear, and I'm secondary. How do we get him to come with us? I know you know. He's obliged to this town. York's going nowhere. He's an armored bear. What could they... They got his armor. Hey, you got there without needing my help. Why is his armor so important? War is the sea he swims in and the air he breathes. No. Without his armor, his armor means as much to him as Hester here does to me. His armor is like his demon? His soul is in those pieces of metal. But the magisterium will have it well hidden. 
Now, I've been thinking that maybe I'm outgunned in this town, but I've got some craft of my own, you understand. You know, if I can't win Yorick's freedom, then where did she go? She's quick. And she stole my bacon. 